The old Trident took a few kicks to get it going this morning. Uh, well, this morning, just now actually. It's uh, just gone lunchtime now. Um, I decided that I'd just run it up and uh, get ready to winterize it. It's probably about whoa, minus four, minus five here last night, I suppose. Still got some frost on the roof of that tin shed and on my son's car. Like I say, it's gone lunchtime now. Anyway, yeah, it took a good few kicks to get it going. I've got no choke on this, so you just got to tickle the carburetors and kick and uh, wait. And within a few kicks, it normally bursts into life when it's freezing cold. Any other time, the normal sort of time of year for using such a bike, it starts straight away, first or second kick. So I'm not too worried. But um, I thought I'd get it going, just get what oil had dropped from the oil tank into the engine, pumped back into the tank, for now at least. And uh, the next job I'm going to do is I'll disconnect the fuel pipes from the uh, taps there on both sides. And I'm going to get the little uh, drain plugs out of the carburetors and drain the float bowls down, because at least now I know that it was starting and running okay, I've just had a little trip up and down the lane on it as well and um, I'll take the battery off it and uh, it can go away for the winter and I should be able to be fairly confident that uh, come the next riding season it'll be quite easy to start and we shouldn't have any block pilot jets or anything in the carburetors because uh, it's running fine now, I've just verified that so uh, if I drain the fuel out of the carburetors, they should be dry and remain spotless over the winter. Uh, last winter, on the 15th of December, in fact, nearly a year ago, I took this bike for a ride and I uh, shared the ride on YouTube. It was a lovely day. It was like this, actually. Very cold, clear blue skies, frost everywhere. But the roads were salted, and they're salted now, actually. Uh, they've started salting them again. And this bike... And my little uh, 1958 Tiger Cub, the light metallic blue one, I was silly enough to take both of those out in conditions like this and the salt really wreaked havoc with them. And this Trident actually ended up a week or so later. Even though I washed it down straight away, it looked like it had been dredged out of a canal. I was devastated. And I also got in trouble with an owner of a bike that I'd worked on for road testing it. And that one, even though I cleaned it straight away afterwards, there was all sorts of uh, knock-on effects from riding out in the salt. I don't know whether they just put more salt down these days or what, but it even kills the grass on the verges and everything. But um, no more heroics from me in the winter. I'm not going to destroy my bikes or anyone else's, and uh, especially the, uh, the shiny toys. They can all stay safely locked away until uh, fairer weather comes along again. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm going to just... Uh, Winterize this one and put it away and look forward to next spring.